Hey, it's Chance. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about three things that I never do with sugar babies, and we'll just get right into the video. All right, guys, thanks for uh, staying tuned. I owe you guys some videos from this week. I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't make any videos the last few days, but you're gonna get them all today. So today's topic is three things that I never do with sugar babies, and this is something that I tell my paid clients, and now I'm sharing this with you uh, for free just to give you a little bit of a, you know, hook you up a little bit today. So the very first thing that I never do with sugar babies is I never bring up money first. I don't care about the conversation about money. I already have an idea in my head of how much, like what the numbers are going to be because I'm you know, pretty proficient in sugar dating. I've made a video called, how much do you pay a sugar baby? Just look for it on the channel. I might link it down below if I remember. So I don't care about money, but I never bring it up first. This is not, doesn't have anything to do with sugar dating. This is how I conduct business in any aspect of my life unless I'm unless I am actually the provider of the service, um, I don't ever bring up money first. When I'm purchasing anything, I let the person do it. This is, like I said, doesn't have anything to do with sugar babies. This is a negotiation technique and a business technique, which I have just brought into sugar dating from my regular life. Um, if and when the person chooses to bring up money, uh, however she wants to do that, I'm fine to talk about it. I don't recommend being shady or um, trying to avoid having a conversation about money unless you're specifically trying to salt date uh, there is a lane for that. People do it. Uh, I've personally never done it, but people do do it. And I can actually make a video about how that, some of the best practices involved in that if you guys want. So I let her bring it up when she wants to. And other than that, the only thing that I do is I ask an open-ended question, which I've talked about this before, is if we chat on a Sugar Daddy Meet is the app that I recommend. There's a link down below for you to try it out for free. If we connect on Sugar Daddy Meet, we exchange a few messages. I want to meet her. There's some criteria that I look for, which I've also talked about in other videos, but if I think, okay, you know, this person's attractive. She seems to have like a good vibe. I want to meet her. I'll just ask the open-ended question. I'd like to see you sometime or I'd like to meet you. Can you tell me how to set that up? And that's her invitation to bring up uh, pay per meet or meet fee or whatever she wants to do. Other than that, I treat sugar babies like I treat any other girl that I would meet anywhere. Like if I meet women in a coffee shop on the street, start chatting to them on Instagram, I want to hang out with them, I just invite them out. And it's up to her to just like bring up money if and when she wants to. So number one, I never bring up money first. There can be some, I've heard some opposing viewpoints about this, but this is just how I conduct business. I've always done it this way and it works fine for me. Number two, the number two thing that I never do with sugar babies, I never ask her about other guys that she's seeing because I assume that she's seeing other guys and um, that's fine. I think that you know, we're talking about a young, pretty attractive woman in most cases, at least the girls that I date. And I'm assuming that she's seeing, I'm assuming that she's seeing one or two or however many other guys from sugar dating apps. I'm assuming that she's seeing a guy at the gym, a guy at her apartment complex. If she's in college, she might be talking to two or three, however many guys. There's other dudes in her phone is the point I'm making. There's other dudes in her phone. There's other dudes in her DMs. And that is not my business. Jay-Z has a really good quote about this is our time together is our time together and our time apart is our time apart. So never do I even bother myself with thinking about what she's doing when we're not together, um, and nor do I bring it up. I think this is a bad idea. When girls, so I have not coached a guy who told me that he did this, but I've sugar dated women who have been like, yeah, this other guy I was talking to, he would get mad if I didn't text him back at a certain time, or he wanted to know where I was and all this other stuff. And it bothers them, it makes them uncomfortable. Any woman that you meet anywhere, if you meet her on Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, if you meet her on Sugar Daddy Meet or wherever, there's other dudes that are talking to her. That's just the, that's where we're at in the world. We're not, it's not like the 1980s or the 90s when you just talk to one person for however long you talk to them and then you talk to the next person. It's basically just a wide open marketplace. And so act accordingly. Assume that she's seeing other guys. Bring it upon yourself. Make it important to yourself to have other women in your life so that you don't get sprung or you don't put yourself in this position where this is the only source of validation and sexuality in your life. Uh, you start acting stupid. So I never ask her about other guys that she's dating, nor do I care. I will never ask her, oh, what'd you do last night? The only thing I will be, the most I will get into that is be like, oh, hey, how have you been? What's up? What have you been up to? And I, I really don't care. She doesn't have to lie to me. I'm not going to ask. It's not my business. And you could honestly, no matter where you meet a woman in this day and age, assume she's dating other guys and don't let it bother you. Uh, there's a saying that I like about this is like, she's not yours. It's just your turn. And it doesn't necessarily have to sound bitter. It's just like you don't own any other human being. You're just going to enjoy the time that you have with that person individually, like every time you see them. And then in your life as a whole, if it's months, if it's years. I know people who've been married 14 years, 12 years, over 20 years. I actually know a woman who was married 21 years 
and they got a divorce, which is kind of sad if you think about it. 21 years, I believe they had four kids, but nobody, you don't own anybody. They're just in your life for that particular period of time. Enjoy it and then let them go, you know, love with an open hand. So, and then my third and final thing that I never do, I never do this with sugar babies. And this one might be the most controversial of all the ones I've talked about. I never, or I should say hardly ever, very rarely, I will very rarely compliment a sugar baby on her looks. And this is something I might go into more deeply in another video and some other type of content. But listen, she knows she's pretty, right? <laughs> like she, kn she knows that she's pretty. She's seen herself in the mirror. In most cases with a very attractive woman, she's been told that she's pretty and hot and gorgeous and all this stuff since she was probably five or six years old. She's probably looked like that, some version of that, since she was six years old. There was little boys on the playground in the second and third grade drooling over her. There's guys at the gym. There's guys on Instagram. There's guys. She knows how she looks. One way that I differentiate myself in our relationship is that I don't make a big deal about a woman's looks. Even if she's, listen, if I'm sugar dating her, she's, I am very attracted to that woman. That's the only reason why I would do it, right? I can date. That's not, <laughs> if I'm sugar dating a woman, it's because my attraction level is very, very high. So it's already, we know, right? She knows that I'm attracted to her. I don't have to bring it up. That doesn't mean I don't say anything nice. It just means that I'd never drool and like, oh God, you're so hot. You're so gorgeous. It makes women uncomfortable. As much as you think you would like it as a man, if she was like, oh man, you look nice. You look great. You're putting on some muscle. You look really good. That would feel good as a man if she told you that. Women don't like that in general. Maybe after a certain period of time or after a certain, when you've established yourself as not a creep. But in general, I would say for the first maybe a couple weeks or months of your relationship, do not compliment her or even comment on her looks. You could say, the, the, most, the most you could say is be like, oh, that's a pretty dress. I like your bracelet. I like your earrings. The, what, I would, what I would encourage you to do is instead of complimenting her on her looks or even being fixated on that, what I would encourage you to do is compliment her on other things that are non-physical. Just be like, well, I really like your sense of humor. Or you're really ambitious. I really love how you have these plans to open up your own veterinary clinic. Whatever she wants to do. Compliment her on things that are non-physical. And if you just meet her one time, you guys go out and she meets you and she looks amazing and stunning. Maybe that one time you can be like, you look really nice. But don't drool about it. Don't be weird and don't act like a everybody's favorite word, a simp. Not just because it's going to make you feel weird. It's going to make her feel weird. The energy is off. It's not necessary. The thing about it is, is it doesn't help. If you drool and like, oh God, you're so gorgeous. You're so hot. I love your body. You're so sexy. Not only is it not getting you anywhere, it's making her uncomfortable. It's making the relationship weird. Just don't do it. I do not compliment women on their looks in general, maybe very sparingly. If she looks amazing one time, very dressed up or just out of whatever, she looks really, really good. That might be the only time that she hears me say, you look really nice today. Other than that, I'm going to be like, hey, it's good to see you. Hey, what have you been up to? Hey, I really love how you're a good listener. I feel comfortable talking to you. I will compliment her on everything else besides the fact that her genealogy is put together in such a way that she's very physically appealing. Because beauty, I mean, yeah, it's nice to look at a beautiful woman. Uh, beauty is fleeting. If you sugar date, you'll start to realize that beauty is actually quite common. Some of the things that are less common are somebody who that you just enjoy talking to. Somebody that you have a good vibe, they make you feel comfortable. They're a good listener. They're funny. They're fun to be around. Beautiful women are everywhere, especially when you start sugar dating. Beautiful women are everywhere. Somebody that you enjoy talking to, that you have a good time with, that you feel comfortable with, that you have good chemistry, it's much rarer. And that's what I choose to bring up more than just talking to her about her looks. Because she already knows she's pretty. All right. Those were the three things that I never do with sugar babies. Go ahead and like the video. It's up to the channel if you like this type of content. Like I said, you guys got, I think, two more videos coming today because I owed you a video every day this week, but I got a little under the weather, so I wasn't feeling up to it. But here they come now. And in the last video that I'm going to post today, I have a very special announcement. So go ahead and check the links down below for the free uh, profile to sugardaddymeat.com. It's my favorite sugar daddy app. Let me know how you guys feel about that get my free PDF guide, which is coming down today. I'm taking it down today. The day that you see this video is the last day that you could get it. So get my free PDF guide, Seven Secrets Sugar Babies Don't Want You to Know. If you haven't seen it, like the video, sub to the channel, comment down below. And the next one I'm going to upload is called Three Things I Always Do with Sugar Babies. So stay tuned for that one. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.